What's up guys, Shane here for 3D Printing and today we're going to check out some PLA from a company called Malka. Welcome back guys. So this is Melka, M-E-L-C-A. I contacted them on Amazon and talked to a lovely lady named Melody. And she said that she would be willing to send me out some of their PLA to test out. This was a cheaper PLA that I found. I believe it was sub $20. We're actually looking at it, which, you know, I love testing out a lot of the cheaper filaments out there because most people use those. I mean, a lot of people use the protopastas and the Ninja Flex and the real expensive stuff, you know, for those real high quality prints. But if you're looking for something that's middle of the road that you can get the best quality you can by getting the best bang for your buck, you're looking for the cheapest filament you could find. This might be one of them, but we'll have to test it out. So this is how it came to me. There was no box that it came in. It came like this directly from Amazon. So this is how they supply it to Amazon. That's the Amazon ships it out in just a regular Amazon box. The, uh, the seal on it is not fantastic. Uh, I wish it was a little bit, um, a little bit of a tighter seal, a little less air in there, but you know, as long as it keeps the air consistent, it should be okay. Right, and then inside here, we have a silica packet. Then here, a little message. I truly appreciate your business. Thank you for being a customer. Here is a gift I thought you might like, Melody. And it is some filament, maybe cleaning filament, but it has gotten a little bit brittle because it's been sitting on my shelf for a little while. And whatever it was, it has broken in a few places. But other than that, it's a pretty decent strand here. I'm guessing this is cleaning filament or maybe it's clear PLA. I have no idea. Doesn't say whatsoever. Still bends well enough, so it's probably a PLA. Put that aside. And then, okay, here is the spool. So, has some cutouts here in the back, which are really nice. You can actually see how much filament you have. A lot of companies don't do that. I wish more did. Uh, I have a nice, colorful, purple and white sticker on here. It's Melka. 3D printing filament. It's white. Tells you the hex code for it. Here's the diameter. The tolerance is 0 0.03, plus or minus 0 0.03 millimeters. So 0 0.02 is more of the high-end filaments. 0 0.03, or I'd say 0 0.04, 0 0.05 is more of the low-end filaments. So this kind of falls right in the middle there. It's a kilogram, and the extrude temperature is 180 to 220 degrees centigrade. Now looking here, it's a decent wind. Really hard to tell with the white. There's a little bit of dust or something on it. You know, I don't know what it's from. There's a little bit on the clear stuff here too. I don't know what that came from. Maybe it's, I really don't know what that's from. But it's just a few specks here and there. But again, otherwise the wind is nice. The wind is tight. The spool is a completely injection molded spool. And it doesn't really have any flex thick walls. There's no movement in it. Battery dad, where was I? Um, yeah, so nicely wound. Again, you can see in it, I like that. It's just a standard white PLA filament. Let's throw it on a couple of the printers and see how it turns out. All right, well, uh, all the prints are done. I printed all of this on the Anycubic i3 Mega. I have it sitting over there on my shelf. And it came out really, really well for everything except for this uh, moon globe. I've never tried printing this before. It's kind of lithophamy, basically, but it, the printer just had a really hard time trying to print this out. I don't know what it was, whether it was the retractions in it or it's the model itself, but it struggled quite a bit with this. So kind of gonna leave that for whiz what it is. Everything else came out beautifully with no problems whatsoever. I am most excited about this uh, sign vase. So I saw Joel had printed this a long time ago and it's kind of been on my list for a while, but I wanted the actual vase one of it and not the vase mode outline of it. So this one actually has a significant wall to it with an inner you know, cavity to use as a vase instead of just being like the one perimeter vase modes that you normally see, like this one. It actually came out so beautifully. I cannot wait to show you some close-ups of this, just how detailed it is. The printer did an amazing job knocking this out. That Anycubic i3 Mega is one of the most detailed printers I have. The prints that come off are look just glorious. And I have some switch accessories here and some standard prints. So let's get a little closer and see how they turned out. All right, so up first here is my Maker Coin and it looks glorious. The white in this is such a pure white against other white surfaces. It just looks great. The print quality was awesome. Everything was dialed in pretty much perfectly on this. Here looking at the bottom, 
I know white's a little hard to see, but over the support, it did really well. Here on the overhangs, it did fairly well. I'd probably give me like a seven out of 10, seven and a half out of 10 on that. This one here is a little bit flat there, but all the rest are pretty rounded. First layers obviously were good on the ultra base and the retractions were spot on on this. Really what, there's one little like weird string down here and that's about it. Top layers, nice and smooth. Walls are nice and smooth. So I was really happy how this came out and I got real excited. Again, the white, it's, I know it's on the black surface, but this white is super duper white compared to other filaments. All right, so here is a 200% Benchy that came out pretty well. This one was accidentally printed backwards as well as another review that I recently did because I had it uh, reversed for a different printer and I didn't catch it when I exported it to do these other printers. But this, again, came out great. Over the, the cooling on here was pretty good. Could have been a little bit better on those. The front one though, there's no drooping there. But yeah, these, the two doorways and the rear window here, they definitely had a little bit of drooping going on there. Other than that, I mean, the smokestack usually sometimes will get a little bit goofy, but it is a perfect condition. The retractions were pretty much spot on as well. I did have a little couple of dark marks down in there. There's one, two, and a third one up here. I don't know what those are from. Maybe the film was a little bit dirty there, but I don't see it anywhere else. Sidewall, super smooth, no ghosting on that printer. I really was happy with this as well. A little bit disappointed with the fan, but everything else came out such so perfectly, I can let that pass. And here we have a quick vase mode print, this honeycomb vase. I love printing in most of the filaments now. Bottom layer, again, just absolutely perfectly straight and the walls it's a little bit flex i mean you can't flex too much it's only pla but yeah it just the look on this the white is so clean looking compared to a lot of other filaments but yeah this is super clean looking and it does in fact hold water so that's nice for this all right a little bit of a functional print here uh this is a controller holder for the nintendo switch i recently picked this up for the family and that's the wrong way. Well, actually, I don't have the uh, top piece on there, but the uh, the top bar goes in there as well, and then you can it will get to the button down here and control it and whatnot. So these make it a little bit, a little easier to hold. You know, kind of gives you some grips to it. Uh, but yeah, I was pretty happy with these. I used them once so far. I want to use them some more. But yeah, the uh, the Switch Joy-Con just sits right in there, real nice and easily. And once you have the top piece on, it's actually quite snug once it's in there. And I printed out two of these so that I would have them because I have two Joy-Cons. Another kind of functional print. I uh, can see my shirt there. But uh, yeah, so these are just some legs that go on the side of the switch. They've got a little notch right there. So they slide right out the top and they just slide right into the slot that's in the side of the switch. Slide right in there and then they sit. These are the uh, 40 degree angle ones or no these are 45 these are the 45 degree ones i also printed out the 40 and the 35 degree ones these ones i thought were the best but they go from 60 to like 30 degrees on the angle here this seemed to be like a nice a nice view angle hold the joy con right here to be able to play do to do to do sitting on the airplane i like this model because there is space right here this is where the charge port is uh, my buddy says that he uses his upside down so that it plugs in there but then these wouldn't work um, actually, maybe they would. I'm not really sure if they would or not. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess they would. Uh, obviously, it's backwards there. I guess it would work that way, too, if you wanted to. But I like it this way. And uh, if this leaves room for you to plug in the cable, because for some reason they decided to put that on the bottom. So you can plug a lightning cable right in the bottom there. And it has enough clearance to be able to actually work. Because if you use the kickstand on it, uh, there is no space for you to have it plugged in. So these were really cool, super duper simple print. These took, I think, less than an hour to print both these. Uh, I highly recommend them if you have a switch and a 3D printer. All right, and here is the moon. So I actually just lowered this down like three millimeter just to give a nice flat surface on it. Um, but it actually had a significantly hard time uh, printing this. So you can see, I mean, this part was fairly dark. I don't know if it was supposed to all be that way. I mean, that's the you next know, dark side of the moon, but then you can kind of see these light spots in here. And that's all where the filament kind of is super thin or like worn through. It's not supposed to be like that, I don't think. I think those are supposed to be filled in, but they're not. And those are actually gaps in the model. This is three perimeters as well. You know, and then the top, it's really hard to tell. But you can see that top did not come out 
ticked spectacularly, I must say. Again, there's no support, but I was kind of hoping it would do a little bit better. Uh, I probably could have put in some custom supports and then be able to peel it away more better, but I didn't. So this is just kind of how it turned out. I'm not terribly happy with how it did though. All right, and the signed vase. So again, it's a pretty thick uh, print. I would say probably a quarter inch at its thickest part here. Uh, well, I guess out here it's a lot thicker than that, but like where it, where it goes in the little notches here to the center, it's about a quarter inch thick. But yeah, I mean, it did a really good job of printing this. Bottom layer was good. And then I just want to show you if I can zoom in enough to show you how detailed this really is. So that's about as zoomed in as I can get without it losing its focus. But these are all super duper sharp and they just look great. Every single one has a nice sharp edge. There was no mishaps anywhere in it. They all just came out so nice. So clean. Really like this print. This one took a while though. This is like 23 hours I believe this one was. It took quite a while with a 10% infill. But just because these walls are just so detailed. It's almost like scales. I love it. So yeah, I mean aside from you know this the moon globe. I, I really like how this all turned out. Again, super white, and I can't stress that enough. Even on my white table, it looks super duper white. Doesn't have any of that yellow tinge to it that a lot of whites have. And it, it's hard to get a pure white color out. I understand that. But when you do, and you do it right, it really looks amazing. And I'm honestly going to use this for some flowers or something because it is just too awesome of a look. I think doing another color would be cool as well. But this filament performed great. It was awesome on the Anycubic i3 Mega. It laid down the first layer very well, and it was consistent throughout every single print. I didn't have a single under extrusion line anywhere, except for, again, the weirdness that is this moon model. But I really like it, and I do highly recommend it. So go ahead and over to Amazon and check it out. If you guys want to, there'll be a link down in the video description for you to get that. And full disclosure on this, this filament was sent to me free for the purpose of this review, no money was exchanged either way. All I had to do was produce a video review of the filament. I do have a little bit left, so I will use that for some of the pro prototyping as it is still on the printer ready to print some things that I'm working on for a friend. So thank you for sending this out to me. So I thank Melka for sending out the film, and I thank you guys for watching. And if you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. If you didn't like the video, do the thumbs down, and I really want to hear from you guys to know what I can improve on these videos in the future. If you guys want to support me, the best thing to do is become a subscriber and then hit that bell icon. That way you get an email notification anytime I upload new content or go live and you're one of the first ones to know about it. So if you guys want to support me, the best thing to do is stay in touch and hit that subscribe button. If you hit the bell icon, you get an email notification anytime I upload new content or do a live stream. If you guys want to support me financially, lots of ways to do that. Down below me is a Patreon link. Become one of the monthly crew. Donate me a dollar more. I appreciate that. And if you want to do maybe like a one-time deal, there's a Streamlabs and a buy me a coffee link down there. Help me out buy some new things for the studio. Right now I'm working on getting a Prusa i3 Mark III. And I hope to be able to get to that goal by the end of the year. And if you guys want to help me out without spending any of your money or do your daily shopping on some other sites, down below is a lot of affiliate links to things like eBay, AliExpress, Banggood. Amazon is the biggest one down there. Use those links and a little slice of what you buy comes back here to help me out of the channel. I thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, happy printing.